and just listen for your name because we're going to start calling the people up right now. Give us like 30 seconds to put the papers in order. Come up, do your best. Remember, it's a performance. If I'm judging you, I'm judging you from the time you walk in the door, from the time you walk out the door because your character is what really shows out a lot with everything else that you're doing. So everybody, let's go back. Let's have a good time. Give your very best. Remember, you don't tell them what this can come and turn into. <laughs> on showing up. You just got to keep on showing up. You don't, I think on the world stage of a, a prestigious tournament, even though Marco got a movie, I mean, he'd have been in A&E, been on WMAC Masters, he'd have done a whole bunch of stuff, but he still keeps on competing. You got to keep on competing because you never know. Some people who, when we did the Luke Cage thing, they won the championship, they did something one time, but they didn't come back the second time because, I don't know, maybe some kind of way, some, sometimes I think people think they didn't arrive. We never arrive. You got to constantly keep on rebranding yourself because you never know who might, who, who probably have not seen you. So you don't want to miss that opportunity. You want to always be prepared for whatever opportunity come, come your way. So even if you win a call of action, even if you win whatever, you want to keep on going, keep on training, keep on practicing, keep going. You know, because it might not just come from a movie part. It might come. You might become a fight choreographer. You might get some some opportunity some other way. So don't just just show up this one time. And if you do a good job, you get good things. You don't come back. You just you keep on going. I mean, I, I mean, anybody would anybody agree? You still work out, don't you? Every day. You still compete, don't you? I mean, uh, right? Don't we still keep going? Master Brown, you still training, right? You, you, I mean, these people at this table so humble. They walk down like. Like they never achieved anything. That's the way to be. Because then, would you agree, you keep getting work when you've got humility. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. So that's what you want to do. We never rob, man. We're going to keep on going. Any, anything you want to add to the, to the performance? I, I'm, I'm excited. Um, <laughs> we saw some really good stuff today. Um, we saw some people be very creative in their approach to things. I'm um, very pleased with the level of talent that came out today. And I apologize. We loved it, um, especially when people think outside of the box. Um, do that. Sure. Be original if you can, and do something that. Don't be scared to do something different. That's what stands out as well. So it was a lot of creativity, a lot of and a lot of talent. Um, but yeah, just keep going with it. But I was very. Well, first was technique, because you have to look good on camera. You can have all the facial expressions, but if your technique is sloppy, then it makes whoever you're mimicking. Uh, uh, study for look sloppy. Uh, I saw some folks, I brought them up because the technique was just clean, but they weren't exciting. Uh, other folks were entertaining. I want to be entertained when I'm seeing you, so I want to see the realism in your face because if you're a uh, 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 stunt guy but you're like in the group, you've got to be able to act a little bit. So I'm looking at your facial expressions, your body movement, those things. Some of you looked amazing on that. I, I really snapped my head back a couple of times when you hit the floor. And a, a, what, I got a chance to work years ago with some of Jackie Chan's people. And they always said that he was an amazing guy. But what made him really amazing, and also working with Lou Fong then, is you had to be willing to give your body up. 
Some of you guys are exciting, but when you hit the floor, I can almost see you kind of give up on the way down. You've got to be, as a stunt uh, guy or stunt coordinator, you've got to be willing to uh, make, uh, who was saying it earlier, make them look good. Mm -hmm. Because they think they're looking at the actor at that point. And you've got to be willing to give it up to make them look good. So I'm really excited. I've been here, I've seen it every year. And I will tell you that from the roof, the time you did it on the roof, this has moved up like 400%. And, I, and I, just, I know people give competition a bad name, but if you win in forms and weapons, you got to be a great performer. That's no different than being, state, being a stage performer. You know, so if you can't perform on a stage, you know you should be able to perform on a stage in front of a camera. A camera. But what we see right here, imagine that being on a world stage in national karate tournaments all over the world. Don't think that Jackie Chan and all these people don't come to those places. Come on, where was Bruce Lee discovered at? Long Beach International. So don't think that these things are not happening right there. Everybody got the chance to see you. We take the names out. The other, uh, the other events are more or less competitions. I think you need to get, like he said, begin one thing. When you walk out, remember your brand. Whatever I wear, I don't wear nobody else's clothes. I'm going to wear my clothes. I don't care what I got to do, I'm going to wear me. If somebody puts you on the camera, well, they ain't going to let you do that now because um, David John messed that up when he like wore, wore, got everybody to wear his FUBU on, on MTV, so that's why they always put that little thing. But man, try. They got, if they don't remember anything, and even if you even if you fighting on the side and they beat you up, have your name on the back of that shirt every time you got flipped. <laughs> <laughs> what? They're like, who was that? That was Jack, right man. Right it's like, hey, I was Jack, you know what I'm saying? That's how you're going to get paid, man. Everybody want to eat in here, right? And you want to eat off your talent, right? Remember your brain. Give yourself a hand. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a director and a producer first. And the one thing I'll tell you guys is I'm stepping into this martial arts world or the stunt world. And the first thing that Professor Johnson did when I went up to see him in Baltimore, he gave me a suitcase full of DVDs. Study your craft. Find a way to perfect it, but you're never going to perfect it. You're never going to be perfect at what you do. But always find a way to take that step up and make yourself better. Make yourself stand out. Because I'm just going to use both of you sitting up front, black shirt and white shirt. If you two are doing the same exact thing, I'm just going to pick one of you because you can do the same thing. But if you can do an extra flip or if you can do an extra weapon thing, I'm going to pick the one that can do that, can do that extra little piece because you you're going to make my movie look that much better. So... Be proud of what you guys are doing, and don't think that this is the best that you can do. There's always a way to improve yourself. Uh, one, one thing I'd like to emphasize is, as, as a stunt coordinator, it's you guys being ready. A lot of times we get on sets and you get one shot to make something happen. I've, I've been in a scene where you know, you're on a vehicle that's crashing into another vehicle and you have to fall into the vehicle that they're crashing into. You got one take of that. It's the last shot of the night and you're in the hot seat. And that's how you have to approach this thing. Like, you, you're going to knock it out of the park. You come prepared. This is what you train for. You train for these opportunities to come in and to kill it. So when you guys prepare for these type of competitions, you have to know from the moment you walk in the door, you're ready. And you execute. You do the job. Because when you get on a set, when it counts, when it's somebody's money on the line, and each take is, co is costing some production, you know, $125,000, and you blow the take, and we're doing take two, three, four, five. I tell my guys, it can't be on us. It can be because camera wasn't ready, you know, there was a problem with the light. You know, mistakes are going to happen, but what we try to do is minimize those. Our job as, as performers is to come out and perform. That's right. And, you know, you guys think like you're in the hot seat now. Wait till you're on somebody's set, and it's costing production money. 